Blair. Thank you, Amelia. Time for Blair Social Second. Well, a lot of people have reached the tipping point when it comes to leaving tips or being asked to tip in situations that wouldn't traditionally require a tip. Well, a new USA Today study reports on the state's most generous with the tips and then the ones who aren't so much. Both Illinois and Missouri landed on opposite sides of this list as being best and worst tipping states. Can you guess which was which? All right. Mm. <laughs> Think Missouri about it. was worse than Illinois. Okay, that's John's guess. All right, here we go. Let's see. The average across the U.S. is a tipping about 18%. Missouri is number two when it comes to the best tipping Whoa, states. Whoa, yeah. how about that? They're leaving about 22% on top of the cost Excellent. of whatever service they are receiving. Only two other non-coastal states made the cut for the best tippers. On the other side, the study found people in Illinois tip the least wow. at around 14 percent. See? All right, and then when we get to the age, the study says millennials are forking up the highest tips across the board with an average of 18 percent. So in Blair's social second, we're talking about this again. What factors determine when and how much you tip? Head to our Facebook page, leave a comment. We'll share some of your responses coming up in our next half hour. First question, do you know what tip stands for? Go ahead. No, do you know it's actually it stands for something to ensure prompt service mm. tips. So is that when that. you tip when you have prompt service? Exactly. You know, okay. if, if this, I mean, I always try to do 18%, but if the service was really, really horrible and they were neglectful of their duties, you know, it, it will be a little bit lower, but <laughs> still, still there will be a tip. Yeah. The right. late, the late Jack Buck was famous for, he would leave $100 tips. Everywhere. Every time. Yeah. Wow. I wish I could do that. Wow. That's, yeah. That's if nice. I get rich enough, I'll. I'll You'll do that. Yeah. That's nice. Uh, they said some people tip because they have uh, worked in the service industry and they know how um, mm -hmm. yeah, they how much empathy. they depend on it. Yeah. And then some people say it's about you know the service, the quality of service they get. And then some people say you know they just leave that percentage like no matter what. No matter what. Yeah. It makes it easy. Yeah. And a lot of folks are taking into consideration these days you know, how much of the work are you doing yourself versus having service and that's changing things up. So mm -hmm. there's a lot that I can't wait to see some. The dilemma is when you go up to the counter and they Oh, like say, Starbucks you, and yeah. they're like, do Will you, you want include a the tip? tip? It's like, well, what did you do? Right. <laughs> I'm doing you most brought, of the work here. Up. <laughs> right, exactly. You know, just yeah, that's what being I mean. frank about it. Yeah. And it's already $6 coffee. Right. And that's Come my on. theory with Illinois. The price, I was in Chicago at a restaurant. Avocado toast was like 20 bucks. So you think it's so higher? People so people are running out of money to pay. You know, <laughs> give it to them. All right, we got to go to break, you guys. They said Illinois is the worst. It was last of the list. Missouri number two at the top. We want to know what determines when and how much you tip. Go to our Facebook page and let us know. We'll be right back after this. It is 628, 51 degrees. If I could fly, I'd stay in the